Last episode, I took off from Jacksonville, and after navigating some intense current, this bridge has some intense current, I continued down the ICW and made a quick stop in St. Augustine. I then hit some big seas off the coast. Pause! But soon made it back to the ICW where I stopped near Cape Canaveral. In today's episode, I am joined by my friend Sam. Hi, my name's Sam. Who you may remember from some previous episodes like this one. Then the spinnaker halyard up here so that we can lift the sail out. So will this episode be smooth sailing? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Sailing is not all tropical waters and Mai Tais. Sailing can be like an Arnold workout. No pain, no gain. This means lots of DIY boat repair projects. So today, we're working on the Perkins diesel engine. We do this in Vero Beach, Florida. So we're here in Vero Beach Marina. Uh, it's uh, actually quite a nice marina, but it's already dark. But we stopped because we're gonna do some important uh, engine maintenance. Couldn't really go further into the Bahamas yet because we have some stuff that we really need to have the stores and the things that are in the U.S. to take care of this project. So it's the crankshaft seal, the front crankshaft seal, as well as the water pump. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm in the engine compartment and what we've got is a pretty significant oil leak coming from the front crankshaft seal. Now a diesel engine here has the shaft, let me show you. This is the pulley, it's a timing pulley as well as this. And we have to take this pulley off and then there is a, a seal, which is like a gasket that we have to replace because we're getting a significant amount of oil leaking, you can see. Hold up, I have a quick tip for you. You see these things here? Uh, well, in order to prevent chafing to this main hose from engine vibration, I put these spare sacrificial hose pieces around it to prevent possible catastrophe. You will find all kinds of ways to improvise on a sailboat. Okay, let's continue. Now the other issue is that this water pump, this water pump is old and it is dripping. That's a common issue on these old engines is the, uh, the water pump needs to be replaced. That's the raw water pump. So that sucks in the water from. The water comes down from the ocean, comes into here goes through this strainer, goes out through here, and it's pumped through this, and that's where the impeller goes, and it goes into the heat exchanger there with your, um, your engine coolant. So the big project for today and tomorrow morning will be to take off this piece here and also to replace this water pump. And now what I've been doing, uh, actually a viewer was nice enough to send me a uh, bottle of this called Interflon. Now it's a product similar to like a WD-40, but it's actually pretty unique. So he was like, hey, you know, I got this great product. I want you to check it out. And I said, you know, send it over. What I've been doing is I am spraying this into all the crevices of the these old rusty bolts you can see back here we're gonna have to take off all these bolts so i've been spraying this stuff in the bolts and uh, we're going to take those off and hopefully this interflon will actually uh, lubricate that beforehand and those rusty bolts will be easy to break loose that's the goal anyway and if so i'll be uh, singing this guy's praises for sending me this stuff thank you bill for sending this All right, let's check. Let's, let's see what we can do. So right now I've got Sam. He's gonna he's gonna try to start the ignition, and he's gonna see what uh, which way this thing turns. Whenever you're ready. It turns clockwise. So here's our big uh, new jumbo socket set. Sam's gonna open it up. Okay. So drum roll, please. There we go. Big breaker bars like this is what you need for this job. And we need the one and a half inch socket, which you will not find at Home Depot. You will not find it at Lowe's. Maybe you can find it at an automotive store, but Harbor Freight had it. So it's going to work great for us. 
here's the problem we're having. Um, obviously, if you do a little research on these front uh, shafts, they're really uh, tight. These these bolts are like extremely tight on there, and it takes some major effort to try to break them loose. This is the bolt you have to try to break loose there, and we've set up this crossbar there, which is another ratchet, along with the the bolts from the gear puller right there we put there and then we put another extension anyway that way it's really pried on there uh to to, to prevent this from turning because once you put the ratchet on there it wants to turn itself so you have to prevent it from turning so let's see if we can give it a try let's see if this is going to work this is our huge ratchet with a one and a half inch socket Second. 8 inch extension and a breaker bar. A breaker bar here. Okay, so you gotta give this some major force. Ready? E I don't know if it's gonna go. Ready? E e oh. So there we go. Broke loose. Broke loose, there we go. And now normally you would need a uh, gear puller, that's what these holes are for, to pull it out. Now because we've been uh, again, not the harp on, on Bill's product, he's saying that's pretty cool. But we've been using this for like the last week or two, spraying and trying to lubricate this area to make it easier when we do this. And somehow it actually has worked. And I was able to just kind of work it out. And that's where the, uh, it has a, a notch there that you know where to get it back in. And then underneath that is going to be your seal. Now I've already pulled this out, but it was sitting right in there. You want to be very careful, though, not to scratch uh, this edge here, okay? Because that's a machine edge, and you don't want to scratch that because then you could have a lifetime of oil leak. So you got to be real careful by getting this gasket or this seal uh, out. Now that I've got all this stuff kind of open and I'm in here, my hands are dirty, I'm going to go ahead and replace the water pump, the raw water pump. And also a little note that I've done, I've gone ahead and cleaned all this really well. Uh, that way I can kind of investigate and see if there's any leaking still coming out of any of these uh, gaskets underneath, for example. Um, but in the meantime, while I have it all open, before I put the new seal on, I'm going for the water pump. And that's what I'm doing now. It's the next day, and we're still working on this uh, engine project. So we've got our bolts taken from the timing. Get a little diagram action here. This gasket, I'm going to make a new gasket. I've taken off the timing chain or timing cover and I've been trying to take off the old gasket, which has been painful. And back here in the engine compartment, uh, let's see if I can show you what we're doing here. Now we've got it completely opened up. And I've been cleaning around where the gasket was because the gasket was old and made out of cork. Uh, probably about, half, we're a little more than halfway through the project right now, so. These are timing gears, old fashioned kind of diesel uh, engineering. So that's good because then you never have to worry about replacing a timing chain or timing belt. Uh, so now we're getting ready to put the new gasket in around this area here. This is the new gasket. I'll just get it placed here. So that's good. Okay, cool. Here is the timing gear cover, and we've cleaned it up really well. It had old cork style gasket really baked into this metal, so we had to really use a fine kind of very fine scrubbing with this thing to get it all polished off and cleaned off and we cleaned out the inside so we're going to try to place that back on with the new gasket hopefully alleviating some of the leak we've got it all assembled now i've got the we put the new water pump nice and shiny new water pump on there we've got the new a uh, gasket in place as well as the seal, crankshaft seal. So we got the belt back in order. Also, we noted the, the manual for making sure we got the torques of everything. This was like 150 pound torque. Uh, the other things, the other bolts in here were like 20 pound torque. So we did all that properly. Made sure to check it twice. 
now we're gonna see if this baby uh, starts up. Good. <sighs> Careful there. All right. Okay, cool. You be proud of this guy. <laughs> Mechanic in the making. You did a great job, man. Thank you. Great job. Out.